Hi, this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness. Today, I want to talk about the Rossi 92. And this is a lever gun in 357 with a 20 inch barrel. Don't you love that sound? And let's talk a little bit about the strengths and weaknesses of this gun. Now, I actually have two of these. I have one in 18 inches. And this is more of a, a toy, so to speak. You know, I just enjoy uh, having this gun and shooting this gun. And both of them are very accurate. Now, there are a lot of people who really like these Rossies. And there are other people who don't like these Rossies. Not as many as who like them, but they're not bad guns, but they do have some particular problems and issues that have to be worked with. Now, first off, these guns are not cheap by any means, but you're going to pay much more for a Marlin, a uh, Winchester, you know, one of the Henry, one of the higher end lever action rifles. And because of this, you know, there are some cost-cutting things such as, uh, you know, some of the internals. The loading gate is very stiff. And uh, they uh, put a 24, or they put, uh, it's not 24 inches, but they put the long spring into the loading uh, breech or loading tube that they would in the 24 inch rifles and being only 20 inches it makes it very hard to load you know the bullets in this gun so uh, most people wind up cutting anywhere from two to four inches off the spring depending on uh, what length of the barrel and it does help uh, another thing uh, you know the loading gate is rather rough and it can be very uh, very cutting on your fingers trying to load different types of rounds. You know, uh, some people have the guns taken apart and then they uh, do some light sanding with a jeweler's file here and there and try to remove any burrs or blemishes on the gun. Uh, other people, you know, they, they shoot the gun. And the more you shoot it, the slicker the action becomes, the easier it is to load the gun. But I definitely would shorten the springs because that, 20, that spring for the 24-inch gun does make it rather difficult to load cartridges into this rifle. Now, ammunition. And I'm sure this will change the more that I shoot both of these rifles. But it is finicky on ammunition as far as loading that ammunition. I find uh, soft lead bullets, you know, copper jacketed lead bullets uh, tend to get uh, stuck or hard to push into the breech here. All right, so hard cast bullets, at least in the beginning, is probably the way I would go. Now, the gun does have a, a type of safety. Uh, you know, that's one of those things that, hey, it's on there. You can take it or leave it. And, uh, but a lot of people remove these because they don't like them. Now, uh, it does have, let's see if I can get a good angle here. It does have the uh, buckhorn sights. Now, I like those sights. Uh, it's easy for me to get on target with them. Now, not everybody likes those kind of sights, but uh, it definitely is something that I can deal with. So, Greg, would you recommend the Rossi 92? Well, I definitely like it, and it is very accurate for me. Uh, but, you know, this, once again, this is a gun that... Uh, you know, if you buy this gun, it's going to be a project gun. There's things you're going to have to do to it or else get a gunsmith to do to it uh, to make it a, a more effective firearm. So this is Greg 
with Lion Quest Fitness.